Well, I was delighted to accept the invitation because I think this is you know, one of the first times when the ITU has tried to bring together a collective of partners who can actually use digital technologies for development. And as I've argued many, many times, we have to begin with the development and then find ways in which we can use technology. And I know colleagues in the ITU are very committed to this and bringing people from you know, a range of countries, a range of backgrounds, private sector, government, civil society together. And I, let's hope it's really going to achieve what it sets out to do, which is fundamentally to make a difference. Well, we're in the first meeting today, we're discussing exactly what our objectives should be. And I think it's picking a few small things that we can actually have a really significant impact on. And that has to be turning the rhetoric into practice and actually using the power that the ITU has to bring together people from different areas, all of whom are committed to this cause, to use their resources, their expertise, to deliver something valuable on the ground. And, and you know, I think there's a lot to be done with knowledge sharing, there's a lot to be done with putting governance structures in place, and actually to, to collaborate together to make a difference on the ground. And it's been really good just meeting people, old friends, but also you know, new colleagues who are committed to this cause and we can do things together. The notion of empowerment is, is actually very problematic because you know, who is doing the empowering and who is being empowered. Uh, but, but what I hope one key thing it will do is actually listen to the needs of the poorest and the most marginalised. Far too often those of us you know, who spend all our time in conferences and in offices and in hotels, we, 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 we don't actually listen to the needs of the poorest and, and, and what we can do. You know, there's, there's actually a huge market out there for, for people who don't have mobile devices, who don't have mobile technologies, who don't use them. And, and I want us to listen to what they have to say and then deliver solutions that actually enable them to be part of this you know, incredibly integrated, networked world.